Welcome back. Now, one of the things you can do in Canva is that you can create pins for your Pinterest account. And we are going to do that in this live example. Now, if you already established your connection to Pinterest through Canva, then you'll be able to create your image and then upload direct to Canva. So what we're going to do first is we're then going to go inside of our Pinterest image. And you're then going to choose a Pinterest graphic. Now the most effective Pinterest graphic tends to be at a two to three ratio. And so Canva does this by default. And so basically what you'll want to do then is you'll want to pick the kind of template that you want to use that best represents how you want to create your pin. You can first do a search for the kind of subject that you're going to want to use. And once you do that, what you can do is you can pick one of the templates that'll then be available. Now, one thing you're going to want to note is whether you have a template that has premium images. And so you can do that right away by going to your download button. And you'll notice that this design already has four premium images. So we've now found one that does not have premium images within it. Of course, what we're going to do is we're going to edit our photo to make sure it conveys what we want. We can delete images. We can take other images and move them into position where we want them to be. We can make sure that we're using our own logo by going into our folder, finding our logo, and then adding it to our image. We can size down our logo to make sure it is where we want it to be. We can use our special font. In this case, we have a grouped image. We can ungroup that image so that we can make changes to the font. And we can change the font to one of our uploaded fonts. And that means then that we can size it down. so that we have it where we want it. So basically what you're able to do then is you're able to change the image to be what you want it to be. You're able to add in your image. You could actually change any of the brand colors to this Pinterest image, but let's assume then that you have it the way you want now. What we're now going to do is we're going to share this with other individuals that are working with us on our team. So we're going to click share. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this available inside of our team. And we're going to say that our team now can edit this image. And so we're going to send invites to them. That image then is going to be within your team's design folders where they're shared with them and then they can then work on the document also. their changes will then be noted inside of their canvas. And those changes are made in real time inside of your canvas. Once the image is then ready, we can then publish to Pinterest. And we're going to click this button. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.